Thank you very much. It's a great joy to be here with you all. And I thank the ashram for welcoming us. I thank the memory of Kamla Chowdhury and the importance of nonviolence and the Earth Charter. And I thank all of our honored guests and the children especially. Welcome. I want to just talk about three points from the Earth Charter. Reverence for the mystery of being, gratitude for the gift of life, and humility for honoring the human place in nature. I think this is in the spirit of Gandhi, for sure. And I want to suggest that just as he had a great journey in his life from this place out to the sea, to the Arabian Sea, to transform all of India and the world, that we too are on a journey. And we need to develop the reverence for the mystery of life, the gratitude for all of life, and the sense of humility that Gandhi showed us the way for our place amidst the community of life. And in terms of the journey, we have all come from long distances. You have a long distance to go still in your life. And may it be smooth. May it be flourishing. May it be happy. May it be joyful, like these songs were so joyful, and our hearts feel happy. And I want to tell a story about our journey and the kind of knowing that we can bring forward in a place like this with the power of history, with the presence of nature, with the songs of the birds, with our cultural songs and heritage. And the journey will require new kinds of knowing. We know from our minds. We know from our hearts. And Gandhiji taught us to know from our spirit, from the spirit that drove him towards Satyagraha, the truth force that transformed the world. And now, as the Earth Charter suggests, and as our meetings have brought forward, we also need a natural knowing, a natural intelligence, a natural wisdom from nature itself to guide us into the future. You have this natural knowing. You know the trees, the flowers, the plants, the birds. You know when they fly, how magical they are how beautiful they are. And I want to tell a story of the birds flying because it brings to mind this notion of migration. Because we are migrating towards a future for you and your generation. A future for the whole Earth community. But we must learn migrating wisdom. Gandhi had a migrating wisdom from here to South Africa, England, back, from here again to South Africa, and all over India. Migrating wisdom, a deep intelligence to move with the elements, the air, the earth, the water, the flowers, as the Vedas said as well. So here's the story. If we can learn, as the birds know, how to migrate, there's a little bird called the Red Knot Sandpiper. And it moves from the south of America, Tierra del Fuego, all the way up to North America, to Canada, in the great James Bay region. But when it flies, makes this huge journey, it stops in the Chesapeake Bay in the US, and it eats the horseshoe crab eggs from the big horseshoe crab, some of the most ancient crabs on the planet. It eats those eggs so it can get strong for the journey. And then it goes to this great James Bay. And it spends the summer. 
And it has its children. It has its little chicks, those little baby birds. And here is the migrating wisdom. Here is the new kind of knowing we need to learn. What happens is the birds, the chicks, the little fledglings fly all the way back to the James Bay, from James Bay to Chesapeake Bay. They eat those little horseshoe crab eggs again, and they fly all the way to South America, the end of South America. 30,000 mile journey and more. But here's the miracle. Here's the miracle of nature. They do it without their parents. They do it on their own. They know how to fly that long journey. And that is the miracle. The parents come later. But the children, the little chicks, have that wisdom of a journey that is still ahead of all of us. So we invite you, the next generation, into this journey. We wish you well in this journey. The birds will guide us all, and all the migrating animals, the fish, the turtles, the caribou, migrating and moving all across these lands, they will guide us. And with the spirit of this place, of Gandhi, that is known all over the world, we will find the truth force in nature itself for our journey together. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Mary.